In this video, we're going to talk about line integrals, and I'm briefly going to define the notion of a line integral and explain what it is intuitively in a couple different specific cases. So let C be a smooth curve, and it's given by this vector valued function. So we have some curve, maybe it looks like this, and R of t is a vector valued function. So you plug in a value of t, which is usually time, and it spits out a vector. So you could think of this curve as the collection of the endpoints of the vectors, right? You have vector, 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 and it traces out some curve, in this case, in two-dimensional space. And then we're going to define the following. We're going to let ds be equal to the magnitude of r prime of t, like this. And so basically, to find r prime, you take the derivative, so you would get x prime and y prime, and the magnitude of that would be the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So it would be this. It would be x prime of t squared plus y prime of t squared dt. So this is the notation we often use. So ds is equal to this. Then by the line integral, we mean the following. So we write the integral symbol. We put uh, our function f of x, y. So we're integrating f over this line. It's called the line integral. We write ds, and then we write our line. So c is a smooth curve, so it's not really our line, it's a curve. So this is called the line integral of this function over this smooth curve as we traverse from a to b. So you can rewrite this as follows. This is the definition. So we're going from a to b, and basically what you do is you plug in the components into your function. So it's like this, f of x of t comma y of t, and then it's ds, but we know what ds is, it's equal to this. So square root x prime of t quantity squared plus y prime of t quantity squared. So it's a pretty, pretty wicked formula, um, and this is it. This is the formula for the line integral over a curve. Um, this formula comes up in other areas of math too, so if you're learning this now for the first time, know that it's going to come up again later. If you study complex analysis, it's exactly the same formula, so this comes up again and again and again. Uh, the notion of a line integral is a recurring one in the study of mathematics. A couple important comments regarding uh, this line integral. In particular, what does it mean? So let's talk about two specific cases. So the first case I want to talk about is if your function is equal to 1. So if f of xy is equal to 1, then what would happen here, um, you would just get 1 ds, like this. And then in this case, this would just be 1. So you would just get this. So you would get the integral from a to b of the square root of x prime of t quantity squared plus y prime of t quantity squared. And I'd say, hey, this looks kind of familiar. It should, right? It should. This is from calculus 2. This is the arc length formula. So this is the length of c. This is the length of c. So in the case where f of x, y is equal to 1, it's just the arc length formula. So it reduces to that. So it's kind of cool uh, that that does occur. And then there's one more case I want to talk about. So the next case the next case is if f is a density so if f is equal to the density so from physics if f is a density then this bad boy f of x y ds over the curve c gives you the mass of C. So it'll give you the mass of the wire. So if F is the density of the wire, this will give you the actual mass of the wire. So this does come up uh, in physics. People use this uh, in, in physics a lot. So that's it. In the videos that follow, you'll see uh, plenty of examples of how to compute line integrals. I just wanted to briefly define it and talk about two specific cases. So if f is equal to 1, you would get the arc length. If f is actually a density, like the density of a wire, then the line integral over the wire will give you the mass of the wire. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.